Joining us now to discuss is Dan Geltrude. He's the author of Positive Financial Karma. Dan, it's great to have you back on Chatter. Give us an idea, because I think a lot of people who haven't lived abroad don't understand that U.S. tax laws, even if you're working abroad, or living abroad rather, you're still liable to pay U.S. taxes. Yes, you are. The United States is only one of two countries that taxes you based upon citizenship, which means wherever you go in the world where you're earning dollars or money, you owe the IRS potentially. Now, the IRS will give you a credit potentially based on tax treaties for what you've paid in other countries. But Uncle Sam, the long arm reaches all over the world. If you're a U.S. citizen, you have an obligation to file a U.S. tax return. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and then how does this apply to Meghan Markle? I think she's still a U.S. citizen. Yes, she is a U.S. citizen. So, uh, gifts and income and everything that comes to her related to the royal family will be subject to U.S. taxes. Now, this is a unique situation for the royals because they haven't had a U.S. citizen in the family where this is now going to become an issue to potentially open up their finances to a foreign taxing entity. There must be some way around this. Uh, of course there is. So, <laughs> there, there has of, to be. Uh, of course there is. So, where there's well, a tax law, there's a loophole. <laughs> yes, and and look, when you're talking about wealthy people, they are hiring the best there is and the most knowledgeable in these laws to take a look at how are we going to get around this problem. The first and most obvious answer is is for her to renounce her U.S. citizenship. Once she's no longer a U.S. citizen, she's no longer subject to U.S. taxing authority. But that's going to take her about five years. So the question becomes, well, she could just renounce her citizenship now. Yes, and then she, she's a woman without a state. And with someone who travels that much, she wouldn't be a British citizen yet, and she wouldn't be a U.S. citizen. So she's going to have to wait until she can become a British, mm -hmm. a British citizen to be able to renounce her U.S. citizenship. I mean, offhand, do you know how long that takes? It, it, from what I've read, it's going to take her about five years. So for the next five years, she's going to be subject to. So what are we going to see? I mean, what, what, what are uh, taxing authorities going to see from the royal family? What are they going to, what's going to be, what's going to be ex expose them? So one of the ways around this, as we were just talking about, is she is going to file a tax return as married, filing separately because she doesn't want to bring Harry into the picture. If they actually filed a joint U.S. tax return, it would subject Harry to U.S. taxes, Prince Harry. So that's not going to happen. They're, they're, they are going to file separately for sure. So, so, so could she get totally, income, should she get totally, should she, could she stay a U.S. citizen and just continue for the rest of her life filing US married? Taxes. but. But yeah, but, but why would she do that from the standpoint of paying all those taxes? Look, as soon as she's married, we believe that she was going to be the beneficiary of some trust income. Right off the bat, that trust income subject to U.S. taxes. Oh, my gosh. Gifts that she receives from the royal family will be required to be disclosed oh. to the IRS. Now, let's not forget. I'm of that beautiful blue ring that she was wearing <laughs> yeah. after the wedding, that that would probably be a lot of taxes. And how about this? It would subject her to an IRS audit. Now, do you think the royal family wants no. the IRS snooping no. around? Of I course don't. not. Uh, what does this mean for the royal baby on the way? Well, the royal baby is going to be a U.S. citizen until at least 18 years old. So for the first 18 years of his or her life, they are going to be subject to U.S. taxes for both gift and income tax. Again, probably the beneficiary of some trust income. That income will be taxed in the United States. Is the baby, the royal baby that we're all waiting on, <laughs> uh, instantly a dual citizen or, or just a U.S. citizen? Could be a dual citizen, but even with dual citizenship, if one of them is a U.S. citizen, US citizen uh -huh. they will be subject to. Oh my gosh, think about, like, she probably didn't even think about this before she got married. Hey, She it, may not have thought love, about it, but I could tell you there were members of the royal family and their accountants Dan, were absolutely thinking me. about this. They're going to be okay. Something I think they will be. Okay. be. Dan, Geltrude, Dan Geltrude, it's always great to see you. Dan is the author of Positive Financial Karma. You see the book right there.